Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the fifth annual Mammoth Film Festival Celebrity Charity Bowling Tournament. The four co-founders each have a roster of about five celebrities, and the winner of the bowling tournament will walk home with the coveted Mammoth Bowling Pin. Can I get a drum roll, please? Ladies and gentlemen, the first team up is the undisputed champion. It's Team Tanner, led by the co-founder and president of the Mammoth Film Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Tanner Beard. You know him from the NBC show Taken, and as Rolo on one of my favorite shows, Vikings, Clive Standish. Next up, from Euphoria to the Righteous Genstones to a little something I like to call Instagram. Heard of it? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Brock O'Hearn. You know her from bar stool sports and being very, very viral. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Jacko. Finally rounding out the team, she's appeared on Veronica Mars, Fashion House, Big Bang Theory, and Community. She hosts the Loop at Mammoth Film Festival, and she's in the festival short, Lucas Needs an Agent. Ladies and gentlemen, Katie LeClaire. On to our next team. Team Tomic, he's the co-founder of Mammoth Film Festival. He goes by Tomic, the monsoon Mansuri. Give it up, Tomic. You know him from the new film, You People, and of course, The Mindy Project, How to Make It in America, and more. This weekend, you might have seen him in the feature, The Mental State. It's actor Brian Greenberg. You know her from the Twilight series and last year's Best Picture, Immaculate Room, ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Green Curry. Next up, a festival judge from The Gifted on Fox, The Hangover, and Lovecraft Country, it's Jamie Chung. This director and entrepreneur somehow convinced Google that he's an Australian TV personality. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Paul Corey. And our third team, it's Team Theo. This is the co-founder of the Mammoth Film Festival, Theo Dumont. The 11-year-old star of the feature, Dreamer, and I'm gonna call him a bowling prodigy, but it's actor Ari Lopez. Also in that film, you might know her from pedal to metal, Renata Vaca. You may have seen him this weekend in the film Rise, it's Jimmy John Louis. An actor from the movie The Engineer and producer of Better Days, Kyle Stefanski! Shout out to Wild 7 Films! Finally, we got Team Chando, led by Alex Jander, a co-founder of the Mammoth Film Festival, with four films in the best lives, an actor, director, and producer, she does it all, it's Alex Chando! Ladies and gentlemen, you know him from the classics like Boogie Nights, The Punisher, and The Predator. Three of my top five favorite films of all time. This year's festival hit, Bad Hombres, Thomas James. You know him from Fargo and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's Mike Milligan. From The Gifted and The Lion Gang. He's here with the many worlds of George Goodman, among others, Blair Radford. This next person can do it all. An actor, an entrepreneur, you may have seen him in a Hallmark Christmas movie as a heartthrob, or as the founder of OSDB Sports. Your friend and mine, Ryan Rotman. And Finishing off the team, the legend of Mammoth Film Festival himself, the man who makes it all happen, Ramsey Kroll! 
And that is your team. So this is classic tournament style. We are going to see two different rounds. One round with all four teams and one championship round. So we're looking at four teams. The two teams with the highest scores move on to That's the next right. round. The teams with the highest collective score move on to the next round. The tournament is sponsored by White Claw. White Claw Hard Seltzer, now they have a vodka and soda drink. And boy, oh boy, is it delicious. The answer is clear, White Claw. You can see the players are getting started. A lot of pressure's on right now. You can hear a pin drop. seems some teams are taking this a little more seriously than others. I see smiles on some teams and serious faces on the others. Team Tanner looks like they're ready to repeat. Oh, that looks like a straight down the line shot. Oh, a strike down the middle. Jimmy John louis He clearly has done this before, Chris. The monsoon, Tomic the monsoon is absolutely on a tear right now. Uh, he's letting his bowling speak for him. Let's go, baby! Oh, a nine pin. You know, the pressure's on with Tanner Beard since he's Not walked away bad. with the pin three times. That's not gonna get it done, Tomic. But he has no voice, so he cannot defend himself. He just has to take it. You just gotta take it. I'm sorry, what? Sounds like you're letting your bowling speak for you, Tomic. And pop. Let's go, baby. Let's go. ESPN later. Alexandra Chando. I know you're in the middle of bowling. You have one pin left to hit. And this could be really big for your team. How are you feeling about it? I was feeling good, and I'm a little nervous. A guy with a camera and a microphone will do that to you. Oh! oh. Yikes. Oh, baby! <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Not bad, not bad. Oh, that's right down the middle, folks. This could be big. Oh! She's getting real good. Tanner Beard. That's a spare. So we're nearing the halfway point, Alex, of the first game. And what I'm seeing is the founders are really knocking it out of the park. Straight across the board, the founders have the highest score on each one of their teams. Led by Tomic and Tanner. So it feels like if you're going to make some first half predictions, you might have Tanner facing a monsoon. Well, That's a spare, Peter wins the spare, the man co-founders. <laughs> Looks good, folks. Tommy! Oh! Oh! Come on, oh! Suri! All right. Oh! Oh, 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 <laughs> hey! 
Did that ball have curve and everything? I like that. I like that. Is this guy legit? That is how you bowl, according to Ryan Rotman. <laughs> Danny, you're used to doing a lot of interviews with people all around the country. How do you think I'm doing? Okay. Yeah. Back to you, Alex. Back to me in the studio. That's a big spare from Tanner. $5 says you don't pick up this spare. $5. You got you got that kind of money? Blair Redford, about to bowl. Seem confident, let go of his green ball, and it's a nine out of 10 pins. Oh, that should pay for my Sierra Nevada suite. <laughs> I take all forms of payment. Yeah, uh, I still have to be paid for hosting though. This isn't, this is just, this is a side thing. Come back to me, Chris. Reunited and it feels so good. While you were gone, I made $5. <laughs> hey, Ryan Ratman. Why am I the drummer? That's what we do, folks. Wow, Paul Corey with the strike. I think we found someone with two first names. Thomas Jane. Thomas Jane. Me and Thomas Jane have a lot in common. Well. Super talented, very good looking, and really good personalities. Isn't that right, Thomas Jane? Huge fan. I'm a huge fan. I can't look at you in the I'm eyes. I'm trying to win a game here. Yes. Sorry, focus, Thomas J. Hey, all right. Don't pick up the bullets on the last one. Oh. 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 We are on the 10th frame right now. That means we are coming down to the wire. The 10th frame is where you either win or lose in bowling. That's not completely true. It's partially yeah. true. Sometimes you can go to the 11th and 12th frame. But this is an extremely important moment to hit strikes and spares. Oh, that's a big shot right there, folks. Yeah, baby! We already have two lanes that are done, so we will be getting you the results as soon as we I will ever. tell you, oh. Jamie Chung just knocking down eight pins could be huge for her team. If she could get... I'm doing the math We're as doing the you math. go. Live and this math. is an important, this is an important round. It's all about knocking them down in the 10th frame. Honestly, I'm really rooting for her. She meant to do that, folks. She meant to do that. That's a beautiful Ryan Robin stroke. with nine out of 10 pins down. That's gonna be a big move yeah. for Team Chando. He is a prophet. And he's also a very good bowler. And that is a fair. The final scoring was Team Tanner, 499. Team Theo, 457. Team Tomic 487 and Team Chando with the high score in the first round, 529. Absolutely blistering. Yeah, Jimmy, how do you feel right now? I'm gonna cry, but uh, it was respectful. I'm proud of our team. We had a good showing, consistency across the board. It's just the other guys got hot late. No, it was fun, actually. I mean, at the end of the day, we're here just to have fun and maybe to raise a bit of money for charity, and that's, that's what's happening, so I'm, I'm happy. Tanner, on a scale of 1 to 10, how strong are you feeling right now? 
Probably somewhere around a 44. Hey, that's off the scale, I, I believe. Chando, how are you feeling about uh, about going into the final round? You guys won that first round. Is there any, are expectations too high that you will win this whole tournament? I'm feeling very confident in my team. I'm very excited to beat Tanner. Every year, it's been me and Tanner, and this year, he's done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the second and final round of the Mammoth Film Festival Celebrity Charity Bowling Tournament. Two teams, rivals even, Alexandra Chando, Tanner Beard. They've created something together, but now will this tournament tear them apart? Only this next round will tell. Each team will be playing as one player. That means that every team member will be playing two frames. That winner will walk home with the trophy. Poppy will give the winner a hug. He will be extremely excited. If you don't follow Poppy on Instagram, you should. It's been an exciting night, and it's about to get crazy. Are we ready? Are both teams ready to do this? Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise! And here we go. Without further ado, we're going. Chando with the first shot. Oh, it's got a comebacker. Okay. It's a rough one, but not that bad. Looks like four got knocked yes, down. Yes, yes. Oh, Danny! Danny! Danny knocks down nine pins! Oh, the pressure might have got to her, folks. Danny Jackal, can she oh get the spare? Just inches away. Oh, that's right down the center. Oh, yikes. Oh. Well, oh, looks like she lost control of that one. Oh, shoot. And Bronco Hurt. Wow. Nine out of 10. We clocked that at 98 miles an hour. Oh. With the spin, Mr. Milligan. Oh, yep, yep, yep. for the spare. Oh, the kiss. It misses. The score looks to be 18 to 18. <laughs> that was a spare. I told you, folks. I told you. He is not someone you want to mess around with. Come on home. Easy. That's an easy pickup, Tanner. He's got slammy hands. Uncharacteristic. Oh, that's beautiful. Ryan Rahman setting that up for the spare. Yep. It's all part of the plan. Oh, that looks good, folks. Oh. Eight out of 10. He looks angry because he knows that might not do it. Especially when with Team Shando. Ryan Rahman with a nine out of 10. We got some ace bowlers here tonight, but they're pulling off the nine out of 10. Wow, two back-to-back -back balls. Synchronized bowling. Legendary looks good. Side by side. Oh. So close. Everybody is inches away. Yes. Oh, oh. oh. Evans to Betsy. Wow, Danny and Danny with the strike. An incredible final round. Oh, this looks good. Ooh, Chandler just oh. laying it down softly. Oh, this is an important one by Katie LeBlanc. Oh, the 7 10 split. Only like, one person has made the shot, and it was on Disney Channel original movie, Alley Cat Strike. <laughs> and that was a make believe movie, so no one's ever done it. Will we have oh. an Alley Cat Strike oh. miracle? Not that was bad. very close. Hey, nine is better than eight. Last time I checked. Fire, Fire Redford with the strike. Holy smokes. Will a mammoth bowling championship be one of the worlds of George Goodman? Oh, you love to see it. The camaraderie. This second half is electrifying. Bronco Hearn knocking down seven. It's hard to follow a strike. It's hard to follow it. 
Gilligan throwing it down. Is it going to be a strike? Oh, oh, that is a strike on strike! Back Ladies and back. gentlemen, oh, Team Chando pulling that ahead in an amazing me. way. No. Brock O'Hearn knocking down 9 and 10. Normally, normally nines are good, but it's just, I just don't think nines are going to cut it. Team Chando is a turkey. Oh. I've never seen a team turkey before. Tanner needs it. This looks good. Oh. What were the odds? This is all on me. Yeah! Wow. wow, Ryan Rotman pulling off the spare. Let me, just, let me fill you guys in the last three frames for Team Chando. Strike, strike, spare. Oh, Team Tanner says, we will not go quietly. We will not go quietly. And I'll kick them all down. Next interview. Oh, man, Tom. Thomas Jane with a great 9 out of 10 knockdown. Standin needs us. Oh, it's down the hard. Standin! Oh, he even looking. He nailed the strike. The swag on that in general. He is a cocky son of a gun, and he can back it up. And he gets to go again. Oh, Thomas. Thomas Jane just missing that final pin. Hey, you had a good run. That was fun. I had a lot of fun with that one. Uh, that's it. It's Team Chando takes the streak from Ladies Team Ladies and gentlemen, Chando. make some noise for your new champion. <laughs> Started from the bottom now. I'm here. Started from the bottom now. My whole team here. Oh, you love to see it. They're all going to be in each other's MySpace top four. May I present to you, Chando, team captain with the Mammoth Film Festival bowling pin. How do you guys feel right now? We're going to Disneyland! I am so happy that I beat Tanner after four years. <laughs> I told him I was going to do it, and we did it. Oh, uh, wow. The dynasty has fallen. Team Tanner, I've been hosting this show for a while, and Team Tanner has won year after year. The crown has fallen, and there is a new champion. Come back next year to see what happens next time. For Alex Oliver. I'm back here. Everyone, make some noise. How fun was that? I'm sure there's a party to go to later. Let's keep this going. It's our last night at Mammoth Film Festival. What a treat. Thank you for everyone who put this on. Oh, I get goosebumps talking about it. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Have a great night. Woo!